Kent's Market is your hometown grocery store meeting your everyday needs. Whether it's fresh produce, quality meats, or a made-from-scratch bakery, their excellent customer service will meet your needs, even at their pharmacy. Kent's has stores located in Brigham City, Tremont, Roy, and Clearfield. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.kentsgrocery.com. Oh, and don't forget, every Friday, it's Fritter Friday. All fritters are two for one dollar. Kent's Market locally owned and operated. It's been really exciting to see the enthusiasm in the community for this new campus and this first building and what it's going to mean to this area of the state. Many of our students are non-traditional adults. They have a job, they have a family, and being able to take courses close to home in a format and schedule that works for them, it's really rewarding seeing people make that education a reality in their lives. And we look forward to this building being a resource for the whole community. Hi, I'm Ryan from CoverUp. We offer embroidery and screen printing to help you promote your business. We can also help you with your church or school groups, family reunions, or any other occasion that might require a t-shirt. So come in and see us at 47 South Main in Brigham City or 115 West Main in Tremont. For over a decade, Creative Curb has been servicing the landscaping needs of Northern Utah. As a full service landscaping company, we specialize in all your landscaping needs to beautify your yard. From decorative curbing, sprinkler repair, lawn maintenance, tree planting, and sod. We pride ourselves on our quality work at an affordable price. Call us today to get your free quote and turn your landscaping dreams into a reality. Call us at 435-720-1994 or visit us online at creativecurblandscape.com. The advisors knew that I had a lot on my plate. I loved how all of the instructors knew what I wanted to do and they knew where I wanted to go. It didn't just help me with my education, it helped me with my whole life. I still needed to be able to work full time to provide for my family. It was a five minute drive away from my home. I was a student, I was a father, and I was a farmer all at the same time. Association and support the new STEM statewide sportsmanship program Raise the Bar. Sportsmanship does matter. Ask for your support in demonstrating respect for the game and all participants by refraining from negative cheers, chants, or behavior. Do rowdy right. Today, tonight, the flag will be presented by the Box Other High School Color Guard and the, and the pep band will be playing the national anthem. If you would please rise, remove your hats, and face the north for the presentation of the flag.
away your starters. At six, for East High School, at six foot, senior, number three, Jordan Sutton. At 5'11", junior, number 12, Hayden Bantz. At 6'4", senior, number 23, Dacian Spotted Elk. At 6'4", senior, number 24, Ryan Hor Horlberg. At 6'3", senior, number 32, Blake Hansen. Now for your box other bees. At 6'4", sophomore, number one, Max Watson. At 6'3", senior, number 14, Jared Meekham. At 6'2", senior, number 20, Darius McFarland. At 6'4", senior, number 23, Joe Sever. And the birthday boy at 6'8", senior, number 31, Kevin Harris. The official tonight are a Rusty Allen, Dwayne Martin, Preston Juggler. Okay, welcome to the game tonight. This should be a good game. Uh, this is uh, Sever's first night starting here tonight uh, for the Bees. Uh, we have Carl Wilson. He's out sick for tonight. And uh, so anyway, uh, these are down, minus one starter here for tonight. So hopefully things will go well for them. As we uh, are going into, coming into this game, uh, number 23, um, Dacey and Spotted Elk, the leading scorer in 4A basketball in the state of Utah, uh, is who we're up against. He averages over 23 points a game, and uh, he will uh, be... Uh, the one to look out for and the one for the bees to stop. As bees win the tip, Meekum goes in for the layup, no good. Uh, it's a rebound by Joe Sever. Sever with the rebound. McFarland will take the three, no good. Another Watson with the rebound. And end up into the hands of Colbert. Both teams here tonight are tied at two and three in the region play. So it should be a, a good matchup based on that uh, record. Ooh, that was a close travel. Watson taking it in. Finds Sever on the far side. Both teams have four seniors starting tonight. Be a different ball game next year, won't it? I think even Carl's a senior anyway. Yes, he is. Yeah, so that, that doesn't matter. That's a yeah. foul. Two points for Meekum on the drive to the hoop. Nice uh, take there by Spotted Elk, and he'll go in and That's about two. <laughs> there they finally called it. A little late on the call there. A little. Foul on Max Watson. Spotted out shooting two. I'm just going to keep track of thousand points. Okay. Or at least try to. First foul of the ball game goes to number one, Max Watson. And he makes them both. And we have somebody's got something on her wrist. Time out. Uh, Darius McFarland was. They stopped the game to remove the wristband. And play continues. That was, oh, <laughs> that was a foul on McFarland. Nice rebound. Never mind. And there's two on Watson real quick. Foul Not even two minutes Watson. into the game. In comes Chase Oliva. Chase Oliva in for the bees. That was a good box out. 
I don't know who the foul is. Uh, number 12 is who uh, he went over the back of. Smaller, uh, smaller guard. Bands. Easy to do that. He's the second leading scorer on the team. Nice hands. Tipped out of bounds. East basketball. Meanwhile, our, our uh, second leading scorer is on the bench with two fouls. Nice pass there. Spotted elk to Herbert for two points. Herbert for two. Nice pass. And McFarland for two points on that drive. He got, got undercutted there by Sutton. Spotted elk for three, no good. Rebound, There's Harris. Oliva nice into pass. Sever, no good. And picked up by Beacom, and no good for his three ball. How's the travel? And off the knee of uh, Hansen. And oh, Harris gets it stripped yeah. out, but uh, Bands is out of bounds. So that's a good play. Right. Out of bounds. Steve's about to the basketball. If they would have had six min six inches more court there, it would have been still good steal. Beacom out to Leva. You big fan of ball screens? I can do them. I hate ball screens. And wow. nice uh, play there by McFarland. There's a sports center top ten. Bands ejected by Harris. He goes, I guess I shouldn't have shot that one. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. Spotted out. Out of bounds. Passes it out of bounds. Turnover. Box on the basketball. He was going to the hoop until he saw Kevin Harris. <laughs> then he changed his mind. He's a long boy. McFarland for the layup. Two points. Eight to four is our score right now. Four minutes left to go in the first quarter. Bees by four. And we got a carrying call here on uh, Spotted Elk. It's going to be Bees basketball. Coming in is Van Dyke. And coming in for Box Elder is Owen. And also number 33, uh, Tracer Wilson. Who's Owen coming for? Oh, Sever. Whatever his name is. Joe. Sever. 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 He's out there now with only two original starters on the court. Underneath, oh, the bad pass that. back out there. Owen goes underneath the basket. Bands for three, and it's good. Bands for three. I would feed Kevin Harris. He's got the size down there. He had position on that right there a second ago. Feed him right now. He's got position. Three ball. Leva. No good. Rebound goes to Spotted, Spotted Elk. Elk. He brings it down to Bands. Back to Spotted Elk for three. And it's good. Spotted Elk for three. And uh, just like that, the Bees were up four. Now they're down two. And back comes uh, Meekum on the next dead ball to come into the ball game.
And spotted elk with the steal. Down to Bands. No good. Rebound, Rebound Harris. Harris. And blocked by uh, Hilbert. And there's going to be a foul there. Uh, is that going to be on Owen? Shooting two. I believe you. I, oh, really? It is on Kevin Harris. Kevin Harris. Uh, I didn't see that one. I didn't either. He's, he's sitting there going, I wasn't even in the play. I could read his lips. Well, we both picked two other people other than one they called it on. Please. Someone stinks. It's not me. <laughs> I know better. Well spotted out got seven points. Already. Seven of his twenty-three. Only, he's only allowed twenty-three points. No, he's allowed ten. Okay, that's fine too. Oh, nice dunk there by Fraser Wilson. Couldn't tell who the assist was from, but that really fired up the, the student section. Owen. Owen with the assist. Good job, Owen. He's still down two. That's a foul. And that's going to be a foul on Wilson, or at least it should be a foul on Wilson. Yeah. Foul on number 33, Tracer Wilson. Honestly, I don't, I mean, I know if they I haven't seen Wilson or Tracer Wilson play a lot, but from what I have seen, if I was coaching, I'd put him in the starting lineup. He's a junior right now. He needs the experience. He needs to be able, in my opinion, a lot more playing time than what he's getting. Yeah. Hilbert. Spotted out for the rebound. No good. Spotted out for the rebound. Put it back. No good. Harris with the rebound. And they got Wilson wide open, feeding. There they go. Dunk it, Wilson, dunk it. Back out to Meekum. He'll take the three ball, and it's good. That'll tie it up. Assist Tracer. And a block by Wilson. And a rebound. Rebound Meekum throws off of the feet of uh, Sever. one of the East Jerry players, goes out of bounds. Sever comes Sever back in to replace Oliva. Tied ball game with 113 left to go in the first. And uh, deflected by Spotted Elk. They need one of those alley you plays to Tracer. Oh, they do that in the JV game all the time. Oh, Rebound, yeah. McFarland. McFarland. And he takes it right back to the hole. And he, I was say, better call foul on that one. McFarland shooting two. He'll go line shoot two. That foul is going to be on uh, number 32, number Hansen. Blake Hansen. First foul. That's the first foul for East. Four team fouls for Box Elder. Oh, McFarland. Further in from McFarland. Checking in is number 33. Cole Peterson Cole. will check in. He'll replace Peterson. Next, no, Peterson is coming in. He's going to replace Hanson. Excuse me. And we got a lane violation. He'll get one more shot. Lane violation on East. We'll reshoot. Number 40 stepped across the line too quick. I hardly ever see that call, so I. Someone's really watching. He, Good he, job, reps. Uh, number 40 there, uh, Beats. He played in the JV game as well, and they caught they caught him on it at least two times in the JV game. Are these the same refs that left the JV game? They are. That's not good. A push off on 23. Offensive foul called on number 23, Spotted Elk. Spotted Elk doesn't like that call. Bees now with a one point advantage. Man, I wish I had big hands like that. I could pick up the ball. Jeez. Need my little dinky hands. Okay. 
And oh, bad pass. Bad pass there into the hands of Spotted Elk. That's a traveling call right there on uh, Bands. Nice pass in, Owen can't hang on to it, and it's out of bounds, East basketball. That was a great pass by Meekum. Right on the money. Yeah, you have to catch that. You got to catch those, and that, that was an easy two points. Yes. Catch, take a step, layup. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Spotted elk for three. No good. Sever with the rebound, and that will be the end of the one quarter. First quarter. Coming back to the second quarter, Bees will have a one-point advantage for the rest of the game. So uh, we'll be back right after this. Kent's Market is your hometown grocery store, meeting your everyday needs. Whether it's fresh produce, quality meats, or a made-from-scratch bakery, their excellent customer service will meet your needs, even at their pharmacy. Kent's has stores located in Brigham City, Tremont, Roy, and Clearfield. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.kentsgrocery.com. Oh, and don't forget, every Friday, it's Fritter Friday. All Fritters are two for one dollar. Kent's Market, locally owned and operated. It's been really exciting to see the enthusiasm in the community for this new campus and this first building and what it's going to mean to this area of the state. Many of our students are non-traditional adults. They have a job, they have a family, and being able to take courses close to home in a format and schedule that works for them, it's really rewarding seeing people make that education a reality in their lives. And we look forward to this building being a resource for the whole community. Okay, East to start it off here in the second quarter. Spotted Elk on the bench uh, for a moment, I'm sure, is about all. Three ball, no good. Nice. Put back there. Oh. Back. That's number 33, Peterson, with a put back and uh, chance for a three point play. Foul on Joe Sever. Sever will be charged with that one. His first, fifth team foul for the Bees. That was a beautiful putback. And he completes the three-point play. Now uh, 20 seconds into it, Bees are down two. See, that's, where, that's where they need a tracer. That, that would have been a great tracer play. play. Watson back in the lineup, and he has a lane, and it's good for two. McFarland with the assist on that. Watch number 40 in there. He does a lot of push and uh, beats. And we got foul on number 32, Hanson, as he... Uh, he, Blake he doubled up in there to try and take McFarland out on that screen. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> McFarland's, uh, well, he's a def defensive tackle. <laughs> That's what he is. Spotted that out back in. That's two on uh, Peterson, or excuse me, Hanson. I don't know why I'm getting those two mixed up. Throw the ball in. And nobody's moving. There we go. Finally got the ball to sever. Meekin thought about it. And no good there. Rebound to Harris. And bad outlet pass on that. 
will go out of bounds and go to East. Out of bounds, East basketball. Tied up, 6.24 left to go in the half. It's like we can't even expect the pass. Oh, well, kind of kind of a bad pass. Uh, I mean, well, he didn't even try. Make him just stood there. There's me. <laughs> McFarland sticking his butt out. Good defense by Meekum. Beats. Air ball. That's a foul. <laughs> that's a foul right there. <laughs> <laughs> on foul, that's an easy foul. Andrew so. Bates. That, that was a frustration foul on that one. Yeah, I'd be mad as heck if I was the coach right now. That's just a foul that wasn't necessary. Very unnecessary on that one there. 14 fouls now for East. Oh, yeah. And offensive foul on McFarland. That kind of makes up for the other end. On the other hand, McFarland, if he would have went off to the side a little bit, easily, he could have drawn that foul instead. He, instead I think McFarland right, wanted to hit he, him. He went right over him instead, and, you know, that's the right call. Yeah. That was a running back in him, I think. Good hands by Meekum. Meekum of steel. Stolen by Jared Meekum. Jump oh, ball. jump ball. How's that jump ball? Sell the possession. No one had it. Uh, Meekum. Meekum had it, and the other guy touched it. Pants. Yeah, no one had it but Meekum. <laughs> <laughs> but the other guy touched it. Yeah, that, that was a little premature call. Well, it looks like it'll turn out to be a good game. It's it's a great game so far here. Tied up at 16. Neither team scoring an awful lot yet. Good good pivot by Watson. And there's going to be another foul on Beats. Oh, that was what Watson's Beats. in the line to shoot two. Foul on number 40, Andrew Macy. Uh, I couldn't see that as well as the ref, obviously, but... From where I stand, I think it looked pretty clean. Your pen. And Watson makes the first. Your pen's dead. Checking back in is number 24, Ryan Hurlburt. Uh oh. There, there you go. go. Hurlburt checks back in, replaced Beats after he picks up two quick ones. And Watson will capitalize and make them both. Wide open. Advance for three. No good. Rebound goes to uh, Sever. Coach just wants them to run and no one's running. And nice. McFarland will go to the line to shoot two. This one's going to be on, uh, which one are you calling on? Number 24, oh, number 24 Hurlburt. I believe that's two on, no, nope, just one just on one. him. Nice shot. McFarland makes the first. Eight points for McFarland. And coming in is number 32, Hanson. He'll replace Peterson. For the Bees. Oliva will come in and uh, replace Watson for the Bees. I think McKee wants to make sure that uh, Watson doesn't pick up the third. Spotted Elk. Nice shot. Back. Two Spotted points. Two. That was a beautiful play by Elk. And nice Stole deflection by Spotted Elk and East with the ball. Spotted Elk for three. And it's good. Spotted Elk for three. Well, he's up to 12. 12 already. You said he only had 10. That means uh, something went wrong. No, I said he had 9. And then he said a 3. Yeah, but you said he couldn't have more than 10. Oh, yeah. And uh, well, East with a three uh, with a two point lead right now. Well, that's what I'm saying. He they, he has 12. The rest of the team has nine. <laughs> Meekum with the layup right there. Meekum, 
Well, spotted elk three again, no good. Rebound, Rebound Harris. Harris. And take it to him. Oh, oh nice spotted elk swept it. Stolen by Hanson. Spotted elk turn around two points spotted elk from two. the baseline. 21-23 is what we're looking at for score. 326 left to go in the half. That, oh, that's a lot of tip, a lot of bad passes inside. Oh, yes, there are. And that's going to be a kick ball, which is okay in my book. I'll take a kick ball over a pass getting in to where they want it to go any day. And we have a box elder timeout. It's going to be a 30 second, 30 timeout. second timeout. We'll be Call back right elder. after this. Over a decade, Creative Curve has been servicing the landscaping needs of Northern Utah. As a full service landscaping company, we specialize in all your landscaping needs to beautify your yard. From decorative curbing, sprinkler repair, lawn maintenance, tree planting and sod. We pride ourselves in our quality work at an affordable price. Call us today to get your free quote and turn your landscaping dreams into a reality. Call us at 435-720-1994 or visit us online at creativecurvelandscape.com. Hi, I'm Ryan from CoverUp. We offer embroidery and screen printing to help you promote your business. We can also help you with your church or school groups, family reunions, or any other occasion that might require a t-shirt. So come in and see us at 47 South Main in Brigham City or 115 West Main in Tremont. Okay, East with the ball under their own basket. And they're going to call foul on Meekum with a push foul on that. Jared Meekum. That'll be 1-1 one and, one and put Spotted Elk on the line. No, it should put 24 on the line. 24, uh, Hurlbert. I understand. Meekum was complaining to the ref. He's holding my shirt. I can't get through. He was, but you can't push the guy over. And uh, Wilson's back in the game. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Hurlbert with the first one. And Harris with the rebound. Harris with the rebound. That was a close carry. Almost oh. did the alley oop. Wilson had to reach back for it. Timing was just a little bit off. Spotted Elk will take the three. He won't think twice. Spotted and scores three. it. Well, 17. Holy cow, that's only in the first half. They've had no answer for him. They have not done that for him, not done anything to stop him yet. And their offensive has basically stalled. You know, our offense, you know, right now we're well under our average scoring. Yeah. McFarland, no good. Tipped out uh, into the hands of uh, Sasha. Spotted Elk again for three. No good. Harris the rebound. Kevin Harris. And there's another foul on Spotted Elk. Spotted Elk. That should be a attack. Shooting one and one. I know that ref heard what he just said after he got that foul. So that should have been a tech. <laughs> and Coach told uh, Spotted Elk settle down. And he shakes his head. Yeah, I know. I will. Right now, uh, Box Elder down six. Two minutes left to go. Make it five after that free throw by Meekum. Right now, Meekum eight points. McFarland eight points. Watson four. Wilson uh, uh, two. And uh, next on that one, free throws good. with one minute left to go in the first quarter, uh, East only had one team foul. Now they have eight. Yeah, they. Spotted Elk with the juke and the layup, no good. And Wilson with the rebound. That was not a charge. Oh. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Harris. 
And in comes uh, Van Dyke to replace Sutton for East. Bands for three, and it's good. Bands for three. And the bees down seven. Nice. Oh, layup almost good there. Foul on 12. And it's going to be Bance for the foul. Harris will get the bonus shots. All Joel did is put his butt into Harris and push him out. They didn't even try for the ball. And Harris makes the first one. And in comes Peterson. Blake Jackson back in for the Lakers. That's Peterson. Missed the first one. I, I thought Peterson hit that one out of bounds. They call it off, out off from uh, Meekum. Spotty Elk is a little bit quicker than we are out there. We don't, so guarding him is a little difficult. I step back. Spotted Elk step back on the sideline uh, for two points. 19 for him. He's going to have his quarter almost by halftime. Which is fine if you're guarding everyone else and not letting them score. But I, yeah, I can't see that we've done anything to try to stop him at all out there. Yeah. That's going to be another foul on Vance, an illegal screen. Well, that's not a legal screen. Oh, yeah, He's on defense. One one. Oh. Shooting two. Yeah. Blocking foul. That's his second. Both real quick. Oliva makes the first. Jordan Sutton back in. Sutton's going to come back in. And he's going to replace uh, Spotted Elk. Also coming in at Sever. He's going to come in for Kevin Harris for the last 27 seconds. I'm assuming East will play, probably play for the last shot. That would be what I would do if I was the coach. Right. Oliva makes them both. So taking out Harris is, they'll probably want to drive in. That just takes away any opportunity for him to get a third foul. Like that, it's a foul. Rebound by Jeremy. Are you sure they didn't call it? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Pretty sure you can't jump into the guy. Three, two, one. Oliva, no ball. good. At That's halftime. The end of uh, two quarters, we have Box Elder 26. East high, 32. Uh, bees are down six after having a one-point advantage going into the second quarter, so we'll see what uh, becomes in the second half. they got to do something to stop Spotted Elk or stop the rest of the team or something because they, uh, right now, not playing as well as they think they could. No. I, I mean, I understand Carl's injured, and he's the main component on defense. Carl's Southern High School Carl Carl Kansas, they perform their competition character team. Turn to stone. Carl's been a staple on defense, and they're missing him right now. That, and they, they, they feed off of him. He has the energy that they, that they need on the court, and it's just not there tonight. Yeah, I think they might start playing music. We might want to stop. Unfortunately, we have to. Thank you, YouTube.
For over a decade, Creative Curb has been servicing the landscaping needs of Northern Utah. As a full-service landscaping company, we specialize in all your landscaping needs to beautify your yard. From decorative curbing, sprinkler repair, lawn maintenance, tree planting, and sod. We pride ourselves in our quality work at an affordable price. Call us today to get your free quote and turn your landscaping dreams into a reality. Call us at 435-720-1994 or visit us online at creativecurvelandscape.com. You're going to be taught by faculty who have devoted themselves to teaching. We get to know you by name. You will never be faced with 300 people in a room and you're just lost in a sea of faces. USC and Brigham City is a great option. It's local, it's near, has great classes, great teachers. Do what you love. I really wanted to be a teacher. I've never regretted it one day. Kent's Market is your hometown grocery store meeting your everyday needs. Whether it's fresh produce, quality meats, or a made from scratch bakery, their excellent customer service will meet your needs, even at their pharmacy. Kent's has stores located in Brigham City, Tremont, Roy, and Clearfield. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.kentsgrocery.com. Oh, and don't forget, every Friday, it's Fritter Friday. All Fritters are two for one dollar. Kent's Market, locally owned and operated. Hi, I'm Ryan from Cover Up. We offer embroidery and screen printing to help you promote your business. We can also help you with your church or school groups, family reunions, or any other occasion that might require a t-shirt. So come in and see us at 47 South Main in Brigham City or 115 West Main in Tremont. It's been really exciting to see the enthusiasm in the community for this new campus and this first building and what it's going to mean to this area of the state. Many of our students are non-traditional adults. They have a job, they have a family and being able to take courses close to home in a format and schedule that works for them. It's really rewarding seeing people make that education a reality in their lives. And we look forward to this building being a resource for the whole community. For over a decade, Creative Curb has been servicing the landscaping needs of Northern Utah. As a full service landscaping company, we specialize in all your landscaping needs to beautify your yard. From decorative curbing, sprinkler repair, lawn maintenance, tree planting and sod. We pride ourselves in our quality work at an affordable price. Call us today to get your free quote and turn your landscaping dreams into a reality. Call us at 435-720-1994 or visit us online at creativecurvelandscape.com. Kent's Market is your hometown grocery store meeting your everyday needs. Whether it's fresh produce, quality meats, or a made from scratch bakery, their excellent customer service will meet your needs, even at their pharmacy. Kent's has stores located in Brigham City, Tremont, Roy, and Clearfield. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.kentsgrocery.com. Oh, and don't forget, every Friday, it's Fritter Friday. All Fritters are two for one dollar. Kent's Market. It's been really exciting to see the enthusiasm in the community for this new campus and this first building and what it's going to mean to this area of the state. Many of our students are non-traditional adults. They have a job, they have a family, and being able to take courses close to home in a format and schedule that works for them. It's really rewarding seeing people make that education a reality in their lives. And we look forward to this building being a resource for the whole community. For over a decade, Creative Curb has been servicing the landscaping needs of Northern Utah. As a full service landscaping company, we specialize in all your landscaping needs to beautify your yard. From decorative curbing, sprinkler repair, lawn maintenance, tree planting and sod. We pride ourselves in our quality work at an affordable price. Call us today to get your free quote and turn your landscaping dreams into a reality. Call us at 435-720-1994 or visit us online at creativecurvelandscape.com. Kent's Market is your hometown grocery store meeting your everyday needs. Whether it's fresh produce, quality meats, or a made from scratch bakery, their excellent customer service will meet your needs, even at their pharmacy. Kent's has stores located in Brigham City, Tremont, Roy, and Clearfield. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.kentsgrocery.com. Oh, and don't forget, every Friday, it's Fritter Friday. All Fritters are two for one dollar. Kent's Market locally owned and up. 
you're going to be taught by faculty who have devoted themselves to teaching. We get to know you by name. You will never be faced with 300 people in a room and you're just lost in a sea of faces. USC and Brigham City is a great option. It's local, it's near, has great classes, great teachers. Do what you love. I really wanted to be a teacher. I've never regretted it one day. Okay, coming back here, we have uh, half number two with East leading Box Elder with a score of 32 to 26. And Spotted Elk uh, will uh, handle the ball up there. And uh, I think this is a better match up here. They got Watson on Spotted Elk. I think he's uh, more fit uh, athletically to guard him than, uh, than Meekum. So if we can keep uh, Watson out of trouble, I think that will be a bonus. Watson's definitely quicker off the step. That was a nice move by L. Nice step through on that to get the bucket. That puts him 21. Two more points he's got his average. Five more points he's equaled our point oh, total. I think we need to get the ball inside to Kevin Harris. He's bigger than these other guys. Definitely not going to do much from outside. What? Oh. They call an offensive foul on Harris on that? I don't believe it. That's a... Offensive foul call on Kevin Harris. He can't say he's lowering his shoulder because if he lowered his shoulder, him in the head. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I agree with that call either. That's three on Harris. Not good. And like I said, I think they need to put him in the post and feed him the ball. You know, back in December when they really were hot, they were feeding him the ball inside. And there's the third foul by Watson. Reaching around. That's Watson. And his number 33, Tracer Wilson. Wilson will come in and replace Harris. Right now, the box holder's bench is filling the miss of Carl Nelson. Or Nelson, however he says last name. Nelson. Nelson. Because they, after that, they have a lot of youth that have hardly any experience at all. Turn around jumper, spot it out, no good. Got to get that ball. Rebound Hansen. went to Hanson. Spot it out, he'll take the long three, no good. Oh, come and then he'll get his own rebound that? and he's fouled. I believe that's going to be on Sever. He will be shooting two. Oh, we're going to call out on Wilson. Wilson. That's his second. Box Elder timeout. And we have a timeout here real quick uh, before things get too out of hand. So we'll be back right after this. Wasn't it 21-21 or something close to that? Uh, 21-19 or something? Somewhere right around there it was, it was tied. Uh, we haven't done much since. Let's say it was 2119. Servicing the landscaping needs of Northern Utah. As a full service landscaping company, we specialize in all your landscaping needs to beautify your yard. From decorative curbing, sprinkler repair, lawn maintenance, tree planting, and sod. We pride ourselves in our quality work at an affordable price. Call us today to get your free quote and turn your landscaping dreams into a reality. Call us at 435-720-1994 or visit us online at creativecurvelandscape.com. Hi, I'm Ryan from CoverUp. We offer embroidery and screen printing to help you promote your business. We can also help you with your church or school groups, family reunions, or any other occasion that might require a t-shirt. So come in and see us at 47 South Main in Brigham City or 115 West Main in Tremont. still got a charge for it. Right. That's what it's not. Okay, coming back here after the timeout, uh, Spotted Elk at the free throw line, and he doesn't miss much. If he keeps scoring, I have to go on to the other side of the score sheet. And he makes them both. 
There's his average, 23. Watson for three, in and out, spotted uh, out the rebound. And three ball there for Sutton. Sutton. Sutton for three. Sutton. Just shoot it, Meekum. No one else is making it. Yeah, I think the presence of Nelson is definitely felt out here tonight. And they're going to call a foul that time on uh, Hanson. Foul on 32. Most of the fouls are being called by this guy. Yeah, that, I, that looked to me like a good deflection to me. Yeah, it should have been box loader ball out bounds underneath. Just because it went out bounds. Get the ball in. Get in it. Jeez, the least. Meekum for three, no good. Probert the uh, rebound. Nice pass. And Bence wide open underneath, no good on his shot. Rebound goes to Wilson. There we got uh, good attack there by McFarland. Rebound to Spotted Elk. Oh, no. Hansen with a two-point bucket on the other end. Bees down uh, 41 to 26 at this point. Uh, nothing happening here in the second half yet for the Bees. Can Tracer shoot from outside? Yes, he's a good three-point shooter. Watson no good on his turnaround jumper. That's it for two. So Hands for three. Uh, no good. And into the hands of McFarland. That's a foul. And the rebound and put back good by Wilson. And McFarland having words with the referee. Now you don't want to get technical, but that should have been called a foul. Especially with the other fouls they're calling. Colbert for an easy turnaround jumper against uh, Sever right there. Well, now everyone's going for box uh, east. Inside to Wilson, out to Watson. Watson, free throw line jumper, in and out, rebound spotted out. And Vance all alone on the other side for an easy layup. And we've got another timeout called by Coach McKee. And something's got to start changing here for the Bees because this second half has been all east. Kent's Market is your hometown grocery store meeting your everyday needs. Whether it's fresh produce, quality meats, or a made-from-scratch bakery, their excellent customer service will meet your needs, even at their pharmacy. Kent's has stores located in Brigham City, Tremont, Roy, and Clearfield. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.kentsgrocery.com. Oh, and don't forget, every Friday, it's Fritter Friday. All Fritters are two for one dollar. Kent's Market... Locally owned and operated. Well, I didn't need to find a uh, qualifier. Chicken wings. Okay. Uh, coming out here when uh, the teams first came on the co court, uh, McFarland went out and spoke with the referee again, just trying to get things going. And that's what they need to be doing all night long, uh, except for he's got to make those shots. Uh, and spotted out. That was good defense by Watson, though. Spotted out for two more. Box Elder just does not have it going their way right now at all. I mean, they can't. Nothing's clicking. Oh. Got to catch those. Olivo will take the three ball. In and out. Uh, rebound no spotted elk. And the ball bounced on the ground, and nobody got there to pick yeah. it up. That's a late call. 
And um, they're going to call that on Meekum and put Hanson oh. to the line to shoot two. I'm not sure if I like this ref. The fact that he waited to see if the ball went in before he blew his whistle. Hanson makes the first. He's looking really good right now. I'll give it to him. Yeah, they're killing us. Rebound goes to Wilson, but then again, we're not doing anything to stop him from looking good either. So No, not at all. Our defense is, has holes in it. And right there, they got to feed Kevin Harris. Good job. And our offense hasn't done anything yet. Nice rebound there. Jason with the rebound. Foul at number 23. And that's going to be his foul on spot as out. I don't know, but he's making Second every one Minnesota of the foul calls. Kate Huff. Kate Huff comes in for Wilson. <laughs> uh, Tim Donahue, is that the old referee from the NBA that got caught playing betting on games? I can't remember. Assist Oliva. Kind of looks like him, too. And uh, Wilson sat down. He's getting set to go back in real quick. Wide open, Herbert underneath the basket. Assisted by Spotted L. No defense. No defense. I expect a lot more from Box Elder. I did too tonight. I thought we we should have had a good shot. Short on that rebound goes to Huff who came in. And that pass got swatted away. And it's going the other way. Nice step through Spotted Elk rebound uh, goes to Harris again. So and bad pass there goes back to East. So Wilson will replace Oliva. Andrew Batesy. Well, Beats. the announcer's calling it Batesy, but his name's pronounced Beats. Back in for East. And uh, now these are down 20. There, that's who they should put on uh, Spotted Elk. The stinking Wilson. Uh, that would be another good call to, to put on him. He can jump out of the stinking arena. And be slowed down on that one. Uh, at, uh, Spotted Elk had him open there and he slowed down. If I remember right, Van Dyke has, I don't know if the same family, quite a leg legacy at East High. Couple brothers, if it is the right family, that were uh, all state basketball players. Okay. Meekum, good drive there for an easy two points. I'm surprised he didn't take that one. And good, bad pass there. Gives the box over the ball. Well, it doesn't do much if you can't do anything on the other end. It's true. And Meekum drives in. He gets fouled by Van Dyke. And, and he'll get the chance to make one more shot. Foul at number 11, Harrison Van Dyke. That's the first foul called by someone else the whole quarter. And Meekum will make the three-point play. He's down now only 13. You know how the girls game went in the third quarter? This isn't, they can overcome this. They can. It's not beyond them to do this at all. But they've got to they get back to the fundamentals. they got to pass the ball to their own team. they got to uh, play good defense. I think on uh, Spotted L, that's a bit, where's the foul on that? There wasn't. A good block. And uh, bad clock ball. timing on that to get a shot off. And at the end of three, East 50, Box Elder 37. They got some work to do. 
It's been really exciting to see the enthusiasm in the community for this new campus and this first building and what it's going to mean to this area of the state. Many of our students are non-traditional adults. They have a job, they have a family, and being able to take courses close to home in a format and schedule that works for them, it's really rewarding seeing people make that education a reality in their life. And we look forward to this building being a resource for the whole community. Next game's next Tuesday. Let's cross here. Okay, coming back after that timeout. Uh Start of the fourth quarter will be Box Elder basketball. We've got Box Elder with the ball right now. Popped in down. Surprised to see uh, bands out there. Pressure. You think you just let him take his time? Meekum blocked on the three and uh, picked up there also by Peterson. That was a great play by Peterson. Spotted out. Wide open. He's hitting the open man as he drives. Yes, he is. He's definitely got his eyes up. Spotted out for three. No good. Rebound, Peterson. No. No box now. And uh, Ben's got lost, and then Peterson strips it away. And spotted out for the layup. Got to take care of the basketball. 27. For Mr. of Elko. And the terrible pass there goes to Peterson. He goes up and has to hits it. And coming the other way is Watson. And he gets in with him for the old fashioned possibly three point play. That's going to be on Beats, I believe. Nope, they're calling that one on, uh, on Bands. Number 12, Bands. And McCoy will come back in for Huff. As is Jordan Sutton. Sutton will come in for East. Bands will take a seat. That's his fourth foul. Also coming in is uh, Hanson and uh, Hurlburt. Hurlburt back in. And Watson makes it happen there. And they got Meek and Garden. Now they just switched back again. But East is in the mode right now of running time off the clock. They've only got a 12-point lead. A lot of times the team will start slowing things down and get them out of the momentum they've got going and out of the rhythm, give the other team a chance to get back in it. But if there's not a lot of defensive pressure, it, it does work. Spotted out just inside the three-point line for two. 29. Nice dribble. Good pass in there. Nice good pass. pass again and good uh, shot there by Wilson. Great pass by Kevin Harris. Great pass. That's what they got to start doing more of. Get, working that ball around. Seeing the open person when they're attacking the basket. Spotted out, no good. Harris the rebound. And uh, out of bounds off of Peterson. That swap down there, I yeah, didn't have the angle, but could have, been, could have been a foul. The wrong ref's down there. Yep. He was over there. 
Meekin will take three from the top of the key. No good. Harris with the rebound. He's fouled. I think that's going to go on Peterson. Oh, nope, that's Herbert. Number 24, Herbert. Chance to take it to a 10 point game. Uh, 11. Checking in. Oliva it's will come in and take the place of McFarland. Severs going to come in for Harris if he makes a shot. He doesn't. Spotted out for the rebound. And where's this defense? great hustle down there for Hansen to get down there. Bees need to take note of that because uh, nice, nice touch put back there by Wilson as uh, Watson missed the layup. Yeah, they had three guys on spotted out. He's had two options to kick that out. Spotted out, two more points. 31. Watson for two. Watson for two. It's a 10 point ball game with four minutes left to go in the quarter in the game. Spotted out, floater, no good. Got to the own rebound. Out. And gets a pull back. 33 points for the Elk. Watson will take a deep three. Nothing but that. Cuts it to nine. But they have to play good defense. They've got to play defense. And they got to start moving more on offense. Their offense is kind of standing still a little bit too much. they got to start moving. Getting open, finding the open player, playing unselfish, taking it in, dishing the ball. We got a full time out here, so we'll be back right after this. For over a decade, Creative Curb has been servicing the landscaping needs of Northern Utah. As a full service landscaping company, we specialize in all your landscaping needs to beautify your yard from decorative curbing, sprinkler repair, lawn maintenance, tree planting, and sod. We pride ourselves in our quality work at an affordable price. Call us today to get your free quote and turn your landscaping dreams into a reality. Call us at 435-720-1994 or visit us online at creativecurvelandscape.com. Hi, I'm Ryan from Cover Up. We offer embroidery and screen printing to help you promote your business. We can also help you with your church or school groups, family reunions, or any other occasion that might require a t-shirt. So come in and see us at 47 South Main in Brigham City or 115 West Main in Tremont. Okay, coming back here. Hopefully we can get some of the lead out of the feed here for Box Elder so we can be moving. Uh, East with the ball right now. Spotted Elk with 31 points in the ball game. Kind of controlling the game all by himself. 33. 33 points, excuse me. Herbert, uh, another not a foul. It's going to be fouled underneath. McFarland. McFarland will be charged for it to second. Who was going to shoot him? And they're going to give it to him underneath. And there we go. Finally, somebody will take the ball out of bounds. And there's no foul on McFarland. That'll be three. Foul on Darius McFarland. If they're going to foul someone, don't foul the elk. No. That's no. not a good idea. Wide open. Oh, wide open. Wide open underneath. Finds Vance outside. 4-3. Three. Three from Vance. 
I think we got to get Kevin Harris back in here, get him against Hurlburt. Silver just can't quite match up with him. That one out of bounds. Went out of bounds, hit the support. It's basketball. No hustle. Look at that. They're just standing around. Ball's already behind them. And Kevin Harris is coming back in now, so. Just as, it seems like we're a step slow tonight, all the way around. Spotted out, awesome pass. Stolen by McFarland. Picked up by McFarland. That's a travel. Travel ball, beats basketball. Watson arguing the travel call. How's that not a stiff arm by Spotted Elk? Nice hustle there by Hanson. Hanson with the offensive rebound. Stay on your man. And there's a foul by Meekum. 146 Meekum left to go. The They're in the fouling ball game. That's three on Meekum. Not looking good for Box Elder right now. They've been a step behind all night, well, especially in the third quarter. That's where the se se whole second half has been. I don't want to say gutless, but gutless. I mean, they're not hustling back on defense. They That ball that hit off the top of the frame, they were still standing on the top of the key, and the ball was already behind them. And another steal there by Vance. And blocked by Wilson. And picked up finally by uh, McFarland. Good dunk there by uh, Harris. That's what they needed a long time ago. But time keeps on ticking. And they're going to have to foul her. That's going to be the game. And McKee saying the foul. McKee saying the foul. Nobody's doing it. And finally, Wilson fouls. Foul on Tracer Wilson. Jordan Sutton. Sutton on the line. He has how what's he scored so far tonight? Three. Three points. He hasn't shot a lot, I know that, so it might might be good to have him on the line. Or not. <laughs> These are down 12 with a minute 10 to go. Make it 13. They gotta get some quick threes off. And they can't be wasting time like they're doing right now. So and there goes the clock. 13 seconds. And three-point uh, play there. Herbert with the foul. Watson with the basket basket. Backs with the basket. And, and uh, one. chance for one more. Number 24. Herbert. Uh, Joe Sever, Chase Oliva back in. I don't agree with those changes. I think that's offense, defense is what they're playing on that. They're putting them in the foul. At least that's what I'm guessing. Okay, uh, if they're just their foul and only foul, yeah, I guess, I guess that's true because they don't have any fouls. And then I think uh, on the other end, after the after the foul, then I think they'll put them back in, swap them back out again. Nice, nice shot there. Somebody's got foul. Or let him get rid of the ball, then foul. Now foul. Foul on Seaver. Seaver, come on. Uh, I think that was a foul. They didn't call it. That's a foul. And we got timeout called on the other side of the court. Five He's down eight, 12. Seconds 46 to seconds left to go. And next Tuesday night, we're right back here again. Woods Cross. That's who we're playing next. I almost forgot who it was. So we'll be back in just a minute. advisors knew that I had a lot on my plate. I loved how all of the instructors knew what I wanted to do and they knew where I wanted to go. It didn't just help me with my education, it helped me with my whole life. I still needed to be able to work full time to provide for my family. It was a five minute drive away from my home. 
I was a student, I was a father, and I was a farmer all at the same time. Okay, coming back here, fouling Watson, that's his fourth. Max Watson. I don't think that's the guy you want fouling. Hanson. He didn't have a choice. 44 Should seconds left in the game, one. we're down 10. And here comes Wilson Tracy back Wilson in for seven. That was a good move. But anyway, Tuesday night, Woods Cross right here. Come on back, uh, watch the game. Wilson with the rebound. I love the way he rebounds so high up at the rim. McFarland, no good. Does on rebound. Put back is good. And we have a timeout now called by Box Elder. And, uh, but no, ever since the Christmas uh, break when uh, they went down, they uh, played uh, Olympus. They played Murray. Murray. Corner, Corner Canyon. Canyon got beat down there, and they've been kind of down ever since. So we'll be back right after this. Kent's Market is your hometown grocery store meeting your everyday needs. Whether it's fresh produce, quality meats, or a made-from-scratch bakery, their excellent customer service will meet your needs, even at their pharmacy. Kent's has stores located in Brigham City, Tremont, Roy, and Clearfield. Check us out on Facebook or on our website, www.kentsgrocery.com. Oh, and don't forget, every Friday, it's Fritter Friday. All fritters are two for one dollar. It's been really exciting to see the enthusiasm in the community for this new campus and this first building and what it's going to mean to this area of the state. Many of our students are non-traditional adults. They have a job, they have a family, and being able to take courses close to home in a format and schedule that works for them, it's really rewarding seeing people make that education a reality in their lives. And we look forward to this building being a resource for them. Okay, coming back, it's East Ball. And him. don't want to foul him. Foul him, Seaver. There we go. Foul on Joe Seven. Seven, Seaver, whatever. And Wilson comes back in now. Hanson shooting two, double bonus. B's down eight is all right now. I don't think this is... We did not play to our potential here tonight, that's for sure. Nope. Sad thing is, this is region play. All plays you know, on uh, going to state. And, uh, you know, seeding the state and all that other stuff. That's okay. Garland, why didn't you do that all night? Why aren't they giving the ball? They're just kicking the ball around, wasting time. Fouling. 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 Max knows he has four, so he's not going to try. It doesn't matter. Game's over. That's, yeah. All right. These lose by eight tonight. 58 66. Uh, that's not going to help their uh, reach of standings any. Uh, Box Elder will move to a two and four. Uh, that will put East at three and three. So. Definitely not what uh, potential was, what it could have been, but it's, uh, nonetheless, it is what it is. We'll be back Tuesday night against Woods Cross. We lost to them the first time. Uh, shouldn't have. And anyway, hopefully we'll be back here uh, Tuesday night with another win uh, over Woods Cross. Again, thanks to all our sponsors. And Great game by East. It was a good game for East. Got to give them credit. Yes. And uh, say hi to all our sponsors. Thank them for making this possible so we can do this. And uh, we will see you back here Tuesday night.